Hey YouTube, so now that I've finished all my current projects, I finally have enough time and space to start a new project. So I've decided to build a new excavator. Uh, this new excavator, uh, it's going to be a 50 ton machine or 58 ton, something like that. It's going to be a Volvo and it's going to be something close to that thing back there. So here's a few pictures of how the real machine looks. Uh, I design my models by searching for the dimensions on Google and then I just look at the pictures and create something that looks almost like the real thing. Uh, I try to mimic the looks of the real model as much as I can. So here's the model. This is what I've been working on uh, the past months. Uh, I started this in the beginning of December, I think. And I will start printing this today. It will be fully electric, like the other excavators I made. Uh, that's just because I want to keep the cost down. You know, electric is just so cheap compared to hydraulic. So I can't wait. So this Caterpillar uh, machine that I made has been used for over two years now. Uh, it's nowhere near retired yet. Uh, it has a lot of left in it. I wanted something else than Caterpillar this time. Uh, this machine uh, is a little smaller than the new machine. So. You can see it's not exactly small, but the new one will be bigger. Also, I will use the same screw drive system on the new one. Since these are uh, very strong, uh, I haven't even changed any of this in two years. So it works very well. Oh, by the way, uh, I forgot to show these on YouTube. I made three new uh, dozers. Uh, there's one right there, and here's the other two. Anyway, let's start the printers. So this is my printer room. Uh, I got four CR10S Pro version 2. Uh, I like these printers, they're easy and cheap. Let's see. Let's start up these two as well. So, I will start printing uh, the undercarriage first and once the parts are finished, I'll post a new video of how I assemble it. And then we'll continue building this excavator as we go. See you next time.